we have just been told there are Fulani hexmen behind the bush. This situation in Agatu is like a world ravaged town as over to the community have been sacked and burnt down. Corpses lying in the deserted village roads were evidence of the level of the madless killings in the communities. Not even the police stations, schools and churches were spared as they were always down. Fulani came. I can say unexpected when we are at home. They just came unexpected and just meet, I can say, in a cloud of people. They kill many of us and then son ran away. Uh, they come with the headquarter and the, the plenty of people come. But though the headquarter will supply them a weapon. So our weapon, you have a shortage. That's how we run, we leave the village for them. Senator Mark was not only shocked by the level of the carnage, but was pained for those who lost children, parents, and even their simple homes. I could never have sat down in Abuja and imagined that this level of destruction took place just for communal crisis. It's unbelievable. Nobody would believe this. It was shocking. During his tour of Agatu, Senator Mark stopped over at every community in the area. As a state man, Senator Mark advised the aggrieved youth to be calm and promised to present his findings before the National Assembly. The youths are very agitated and they feel that government is not protecting them. And we had one of the youths telling me that if government doesn't act, then they'll be forced to take the laws into their hands. But I've appealed to them. That is not the right thing. Even those who are aggrieved who have done the destruction, if they are law abiding, they ought to have reported the matter to the law enforcement agencies, not, not taking laws into their own hands. The people want the government to find lasting solution to the killings and help them to reclaim their land from the evading hexmen as the farming season is at hand. We're there here because of Filani. Filani burn our house, burn our food, everything. Then drivers come here. Many of those who survived the X-Men's invasion have not become eternally displaced persons in their own country while the X-Men have turned themselves into an occupying force, prompting the people to ask if the Nigerian state cannot protect its citizens, their rights and their properties. Oge Ihimekme. AIT News, Agatu.